Welcome to the Careers Unlocked mini-sode, a bite-sized segment to give you practical tips to prepare yourself for the workplace. Today's mini-sode is with Bob Athwal, the Culture and Belonging Director at Skyscanner. And we're asking, what three things should I look for to know if I belong in a company? So, Bob, I'm going to hand over to you to talk about things that are important to consider when making career decisions and searching for an environment where you can belong. Firstly, thanks for having me. I would say, number one, through the process of selection, did you see people like you? And that isn't about they mirror you in terms of identity, but they may have similar experiences as you. And then more importantly, what other experiences do people have that you haven't been exposed to? So that's your learning opportunity. So firstly, you're not somebody who's going to be alone. You're actually full of an environment with lots of colleagues and more importantly, lots of colleagues that are different that you can learn from. So that's number one. So who do you meet along the way? Secondly, when you arrive, what is the opportunities to do bite-sized learning like we're doing today? How often can you be exposed to different areas outside of your discipline? That's going to be really, really important because that helps you to build an internal network of colleagues that you can then rely upon, work with, and more importantly, share experiences, hobbies, opportunities, etc. And so that's really, really important. So that community feel is what I'm really saying. So, you know, finding your community and that will come in various forms. And then the final one is not accepting the status quo. But I caveat that with, you know, some things are nuanced and complex. So the status quo may take a little while to change, but having a plan to look at that is really, really important. So what's the direction of travel for the organization around their equity, around their inclusion, around the diversity, and more importantly, then to create that environment for all communities to thrive? That's really, really important. If they have no plan, they may be looking to create a plan, and that's okay too, because not everyone's as mature on this journey as others. But if they don't have a plan, then I would really worry about that personally. Amazing. Thank you so much for that, Bob. And for those of you listening, please don't forget to listen to our longer episode where you can hear Bob and our young person, John, speak about belonging in the workplace and lots of other tips in the area. 